this video tutorial I will explain Spring Boot uh, MapStruct example of mapping JPA and Hibernate entity to DTO. Using MapStruct, we can convert uh, Java object to DTO, JPA to DTO, Hibernate entity to DTO. And also we can convert uh, DTO to Java object and uh, DTO to JPA and uh, DTO to Hibernate entity and MapStruct is a Java annotation processor for generating bean mapping classes and DTO stands for data transfer object and it is a design pattern used for customizing or aggregating data input and output so reducing the number of calls to the remote API here you can see the interface product mapper and it is a mapper interface and it has a method signature to Convert product to product DTO, convert list of products to list of product DTO, and convert product DTO to product. And what MapStruct will do is it will generate implementation of this code during the build time. We will see the example so that you will understand. Here you can see the project Spring Boot MapStruct. And I have opened pom.xml file. Here I have included the dependencies of Spring Boot Starter Web, Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, MySQL Connector Java, Lombok, and MapStruct. And also I have included the plugins for Lombok and MapStruct processor. Here I have defined the class product and it is entity class and it has ID, name, description, price, created at and updated at. And I have used Lambok annotation for creating get run setter methods. So make sure in Eclipse Lambok is installed, otherwise you will see compile time error. Here I have defined the class product DTO and it has a name, description and price. Here you can see the interface product mapper which is a mapper interface. We have discussed this one already. Here I have defined the interface product repository which extends a JPA repository. Here I have defined the class product service and it is a service class and it has methods to save the product and get the list of products and get the particular product based on the id and delete the product and this service class is using product repository for do all this cred operation here i have defined the class product controller which is a rest controller and it has create method the incoming json will be converted to product dto object and uh, then I am converting a product DTO object to product using a product mapper and uh, that product object I am saving into product uh, table. Then uh, returns whatever is uh, saved. And it has a find by ID method and uh, it accept uh, ID as a path variable and based on the product id getting the product object then converting product object to product dto using a product mapper and returns the product dto to the caller and it has update method which accept id as a path variable and the incoming json will be converted to product dto and product DTO I am converting to product object using a product mapper then uh, updating the product and it has a delete method and it accept ID which is a path variable and based on the product ID the product will be deleted from the product table and it has a find all method and what this method will do is it will get a list of products from the database 
and that list of products will be converted to list of uh, DTOs which is uh, product DTOs and that product DTOs will be written back to the caller. In uh, application.properties file I have defined a database URL which points to product database and uh, username and password of uh, the product database and uh, the MySQL driver class and uh, DDL will be auto created for that uh, configuration. And uh, here you can see product database and uh, it does not have uh, any tables now. Here I have defined the class uh, application which is uh, Spring Boot application. I am going to start this uh, Spring Boot application. Application uh, failed to start. I got this error. We have to run in uh, command line, then we will see. Use this uh, maven command to start the application. And uh, here you can see the application has been started successfully. Here you can see product table is created and uh, it has uh, columns like uh, ID created at description, name, price, and uh, updated at. Now I am going to create the products using uh, this URL. Copy this. HTTP method is post. Select JSON. Product name is TV, description is here and the price is 30,000. Click on send. And the product is created. We got 201 created. Refresh. And here you can see. One product is created. Here you can see the incoming JSON is converted to product DTO and product DTO is converted to product object using a product mapper. Then product information is stored in product table. I will create one more product. Product name is fridge. Click on send and uh, it is created. Refresh. I will create uh, one more product. Product name is fan and uh, three products are there. Suppose I want to get uh, all the products, then uh, we have to use uh, this URL. HTTP method should be get. Click on send. And uh, I got uh, all the products. Suppose I want to get uh, second product, then uh, use this URL. Click on send and I got the second product. Suppose I want to delete the second product. HTTP method should be delete and ID should be 2. Click on send and 
refresh and you can see the product with the id 2 is deleted suppose uh, i want to update the existing uh, product say i want to update the existing product uh, 3 then uh, product id is 3 and select put method and product name I am changing to air cooler click on send and here you can see the third record is updated You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video in the description section of the video. Here you can see the description section. Click on uh, show more. And uh, here you can see the Java source code links. Click on uh, these links to get the Java source code.